This is a story about Bill Yarini, the Pink Lakes. This is a story from long, long ago when a lot of Australia was covered in water. In the middle of our land was a great inland sea. Once this land had lots and lots of food for the snake living near Uluru to eat. The snake became very fat and the people called him Giant Snake. Later, the country started changing. The rain clouds in the center started to disappear and the water holes in country began to dry up. As the land dried up and the food disappeared, Giant Snake became hungry and thirsty. Giant Snake started a long journey in search of food and water. As he traveled, he made great hills and rivers as he carved his way through the country. Giant Snake was very hungry as he travelled south to walk through the country. In the distance, he could hear little children playing in the water and his stomach started to rumble. It was such a long time since he had eaten. He pushed his way through the country until he was near the waterhole. Suddenly, he fell into the waterhole and swallowed up as many children as he could catch. The other children escaped and ran away with their mothers, screaming, Giant Snake! Giant Snake! After such a big meal, Giant Snake lay down to have a sleep. While the snake was sleeping, the tribes gathered together to plan how they could get him out of their country. The people covered their water holes with rocks so there could be no more water for the giant killer snake. All the men decided that they would push Giant Snake out of their country, way out to the sea. They got their spears and crept up on the snake, spearing him from all sides. Giant Snake moved on to the south, leading. Giant Snake was very thirsty, but when he stopped at a waterhole to drink, the men would run in, spearing him again until he moved out of their country, travelling south. At the same time, the men had sent messengers ahead to warn the other tribes and tell them of their plan to push Giant Snake into the sea. When Giant Snake moved into the tribe's country, the men were waiting and ready to keep pushing Giant Snake towards the sea. Each time the snake stopped to rest and drink from water holes, the men would spear him again until he moved south. Giant Snake was getting very thirsty, tired and weak. As he travelled south, his blood turned the water holes and lakes pink. By now, he moved slowly, always moving south, away from the angry men's spears. As Giant Snake got closer to the sea, he could smell the salt and he tried to turn back and go inland. He didn't want to be pushed into the salty sea. As he struggled to turn around, he formed giant sand hills where he pushed the sand out of his way. Soon Giant Snake was getting very weak from all of his wounds. The men kept throwing spears and rocks and Giant Snake started going round and round in circles, getting weaker and weaker. He didn't want to go into the sea and the men wouldn't let him travel inland, so he started curling up and forming big lakes. As Giant Snake's blood flowed from his many wounds, the lakes filled with his pink, with his blood and the water turned a deep pink. These pink lakes are the final resting place of Giant Snake. Today you can still see the blood of Giant Snake. Many of his family still live around the edges of the pink lakes. The end.